game in your LFL career where you know that your bodies were broken and you were just physically just hurting, but you grinded through it and you came out victorious. Let this be the game right now. Do you understand me? Yes, Do you understand me? Yes, Play a great second half of football. Let's make our adjustments and let's finish. I'm with y'all. Let's go. Come on. Welcome back, y'all, to another LFL Best Moments videos. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you all so much for almost 3,000 views on this video. I have no idea what popped it off like that, but I'm thankful to have it. I never thought I'd get even close to that. Uh, this was just a passion project for me, and I'm very happy that, you know, I got this many views. Hopefully, uh, it will continue for more of my videos, and uh, maybe it actually will call me, you know, for the highlights, but <laughs> that's, that's a more of a pipe dream. But I hope you all enjoy the video. And once again, thank you. Hey guys, I'm down on the field with head coaches Dane Robertson of Atlanta and Keith Hack of Chicago. Coach Dane, tell me, how real is your team's hatred of Chicago? You know, it's nothing manufactured. Uh, you know, it's good old-fashioned football. You know, it's not about being classy or respectful. This out here on this gridiron, this is where it's just going to be just beat the shit out of each other. But we're going to play some awesome football, give these fans a great show tonight, and we're going to win this game. Thanks so much, and good luck to you guys. This Atlanta team has built quite an animosity towards you and your entire Bliss organization. Tell me, does that make winning this game that much more important to you tonight? You know, we, we treat them just like we treat anybody else we play. Uh, we're not going to put them on a pedestal higher than some of the other really good teams that we have beaten before. They're just another team in our way. And they like to think that it's a rival league. We don't consider them a rival. LA, the teams in the past that we've battled, those are rivals. Those are rivals built on time. This is just relatively new, and they're 0-2 against us. So until they actually beat us or, you know, make it close, then we'll worry about them. Until then, we're not worried about them. I like your confidence. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Okay. Linebacker. Incredible Yashi. Defensive the end. They were expecting that run to Ziegler. And Coco Montgomery, one of the best pass for a watcher, get Colcock right there, totally after the play's passed her. That's fucking bullshit! And that one looked a little more legal to me. And you can see there, there is a lot of bad blood between these two. And here we go. Adrian Purnell taking. Let him land here. Take a good hit. And shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Get the fuck over there. Shut the fuck up. Don't fucking go break your fucking head. Fuck you. Fuck you. This is getting ugly early. They go. That penalty was after the play. This should be assessed, if anything on the kickoff. That'll tie the game at seven, but they should have never had that opportunity. Anything to win. I'm a whoop pack ass. Ago, but they've long since forgotten about the tank. Now they're riding a Ferrari. I never forgot about the tank. She personally destroyed us in Miami. A first like a Nawani and Dina Fagiano, part of two championships. Another pitch out play, this time to Alberts. And Alberts and Ziegler meeting at about. Ziegler closes as fast as any safety. By Dina Wajowski. And now under a minute remaining, looks like the reverse coming. Adrian Purnell smells it out. One of the best pure tackling safeties to get. Oh, ball at the 10. From the shotgun, looking to Nas Johnson. And John Dakota Hughes now rallying the troops. Hey, we got one play. We have one play. We need to take advantage. Look how close we are. We cannot let this opportunity slip. We have to score. If we score going into halftime, we have so much momentum because they get the ball back first half. Hey, we got this. Let's go. Facing a third and two ball at midfield. From the shotgun, high snap over Hughes' head. That ball is loose. And Hughes picking it up, scrambling to the left, throws across her body, finding Adrian Purnell. Purnell breaking tacklers into the end zone. The most unprobable play of the season. That was simply unbelievable. Just an incredible play by Dakota Hughes. She was checking out the coverage. That went way over her head. She gets the football, picks it up. Three Chicago defenders miss her. Somehow, Ali Albert's right in her face. She gets the ball off to Purnell, who does the rest on her own, breaks the tackle, treads the tackle into the end zone. Just the left side, just absolutely taking Lauren Ziegler for a ride. 
Hawks and the defensive Pistol! coordinator for Atlanta Pistol! urging on his defense here. Hey, get the steroids and shut the fuck up. Hey, let's go. Hey, Lewandowski from the Steel City. Don't mess with her. Mitch, do not mess with her. Never date anybody from the Steel City is your love advice for week five of LFL football night, a special Sunday afternoon edition. And Dane Robinson of Atlanta mic'd up. Judge for yourself if these two are competitive. Hey, hit, it, hit it the fucking whistle! Hit the whistle! Hit it the whistle! Hit to the whistle! Hit to the whistle, you cheap side motherfuckers! Go fuck yourself! Get the fuck over there! Get the fuck over there! Go fuck yourself! 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 Go this is LFL football at its finest. Do these guys hate each other or what? When Keith Hack gets upset, he is a mean dude. I, I saw him walking down Rush Street last night, and the pit bulls ran away. <laughs> we were definitely on Rush Street last night, although I don't think there are a lot of pit bulls on Rush Street. A lot of girls that look like pit Second bulls. and two now. Quick. This thing is all from over. Hey, let's go. Scoring right here. Ohio left, the outside. On one. Ready, break. Dakota Hughes to the ground as she was trying to get up. And that's what the official saw. That's Lauren Ziegler taking a Vegas. And while we were away, they named the game MVP. And who else? Christelle the Ferrari Harris going out with her mom to midfield on as we go down to the field. I mean, this is a, this is a great competition. This is what the no, totally. about. I love it. I love it. No, I wish we could stop the bullshit, but <laughs> that's probably hey, never going to happen. Game is game, and after that, yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all are seeing Great sportsmanship amongst two of the league's best. I know you feel this movement right here. You just be vibing, reaching, reaching.